congressman. Oh, I've got them written down. I know that. I don't know. <laughs> um, well, I know Susan. What is Susan's last name? Who is your congressman? Ooh, girl. Mm. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I didn't vote for him. <laughs> I, I don't know. Will you guys be voting in the vice presidential election today, or have you already? No, no. we're not able to no. because we're from Connecticut, and it took too long to get the ballots back. And you're aware that there is a vice presidential election going on today? Yes. yes. Have you voted yet in today's vice presidential election? Yes. Yes. I have not voted today. Will you be voting later today? Probably. I have not yet voted. But you will be voting later today? Sure. Okay. Yes, I did. You did? And uh, how did you cast your vote today for vice president? Uh, Biden. You voted for Biden today? Yes. Were there, there a lot of people at the polling place? Yes, it was. Big line? It was quite a few. Have you voted yet in today's vice presidential election? I haven't. I haven't voted yet today. But you are aware that there is an election going on today? I am very well aware of this, yes. As you know, today is the vice presidential election. Have you voted yet today? Yes, 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 yes. yes. OK. Was yeah. it uh, crowded at the polling place? Yes, sir. The United States Constitution organized our government to function under three separate branches, the executive branch, the legislative branch, and the judicial branch. The division of power into these three separate branches of government is central to the idea of the separation of powers. To make sure that no ruling body has absolute power, the Constitution splits the government into these three separate branches. It's vital to understand each branch's independent duties and how they work together. The executive branch includes the president, the vice president, and his cabinet. The role of the executive branch is to conduct the day-to-day -day affairs of the nation, including domestic and foreign affairs. It is the responsibility of the executive branch to implement and enforce the laws passed by the legislative branch. In addition to having veto powers over laws set by Congress, the president is head of the military and responsible for making treaties with other countries. However, all treaties and declarations of war must be approved by Congress. The legislative branch is the lawmaking branch of government made up of the Senate and the House of Representatives. These two bodies are responsible for writing and passing bills. Each state has two senators while their number of representatives is based on the size of the population. The role of the legislative branch in government is to discuss and pass laws for the country, as well as hold the executive branch accountable for its actions in implementing and enforcing these laws. The judicial branch is the system of courts that interprets and applies the laws in the name of the state. The Supreme Court is in charge of establishing lower federal courts and settling disputes over the application of federal laws to make sure they are constitutional. The nine justices of the Supreme Court are appointed by the president but must be approved by Congress. Supreme Court justices serve for life unless they resign, retire, die, or are removed by Congress. Each branch can check the power of the other branches so that the power is distributed evenly. This is a system known as the checks and balances. The separation of powers as well as the system of checks and balances is what makes our country run smoothly.